everyone, I'm Keychain. This is my Kingdom Raid video from February 25th of 2021. We're facing Kingdoms 241, 551, and 600. So we're going to start off with a little bit of fun. So this guy came to our hive. He got hit out and got sent home. And then he just sat in the spot that he got sent home to. Um, rather than randoming away and I had like eight or ten minutes left on my shield so I just kept watching him and he didn't move and as soon as my shield drops I went to the kingdom and started attacking and he had a lot of resources so the first couple were showing the kills which he had a decent amount of troops left and I took those and then as I was hitting I don't know what was happening but the reports were showing no food but then the next report would show food um, so I don't know what was happening there but I ended up getting a bunch of food and other resources here so I um, I sped through some of this uh, I didn't want you guys to watch all of it but you see there it jumped and we're towards the end of it but I had gone at this for like 10 minutes and then coming up here is where I freaked out a little bit um, if if you're not aware this alliance rod has a guy named Lucas wrath that's huge so as soon as I saw that little teleport marker I poured it away because I didn't know who was porting it but it looks like he was just porting away from the spot he was on so I was like okay well maybe I can get some more resources so I port back in try and get some more and at this point you know I, I wasn't able to scout him. I don't know what he's got, but he's teleporting around. He's moving. So he's there. He's probably calling for help. Um, so time to get out of there. And he finally bubbled. So I'm going to get out of um, the area, but I'm also not going to stay in their kingdom. And the reason I'm not staying in their kingdom is because they can freeze me inside of their kingdom and then zero me. If I'm in my own kingdom, they can't freeze me, so I can still get away and I can teleport and, and avoid hits if someone's chasing me or they're using their sworn enemy to find me. Um, this is the spot that my castle normally sits, and I don't want to stay there. So I'm going to use the random teleport, get out of there, and then I can you know, be a little safer while I share the resources I got and, and talk for a minute. <laughs> So, Steelhead, thank you for the resources if you're watching. And, uh, yeah, I'm I'm worried about Luca from this point on. Um, I think he's going to be <laughs> he's going to be after me. So we'll we'll see what happens. Um, but on to the next set of attacks. This guy here. Um, I was just checking some of my bookmarks and I found him, so I was like, okay, we'll, we'll hit him and see what he's got. And I rarely speed hit, but when people are active attacking in other kingdoms, I try and speed hit so that I can actually catch them. Now the other thing, if you don't know, when you attack somebody in another kingdom and they get sent home, the coordinates that show in the report are the coordinates of where they land back at home. So I was able to track this guy back to his hive, and he had a lot of troops, and he had a lot of unbubbled alliance members. So this was a really fun hive. I, I had a good time here. Um, we're going to be in this hive for quite a few minutes, and you'll get to enjoy a lot of kills. Um, I always scout, so no matter what, I, I don't like to just attack and, and not know what I'm hitting. Um, I don't like to waste troops that way. I'm not strong enough to do that. Uh, and I don't like to waste attacks on people without any resources or troops because it increases your shield timer. And I'm not quite big enough where I can just sit out and you know never shield. There's, there's too many players that are much bigger than me. So here I'm going after um, the guy who originally got me and some of the castles near me. And we're getting a decent amount of stuff. So another 650,000. Now the other thing I've noticed, and 
you'll see this a lot is that the hits are smaller now. Um, it's much harder to get all of somebody's troops in one hit. It's almost like there's a cap of the percentage of their troops you can get. Um, it's like maybe you can't get more than 30% in a single hit or 40% in a single hit. Um, and, and maybe some of the bigger castles can prove me wrong on that, but that's kind of what it feels like. Um, it feels like there's, there's a safety threshold that doesn't allow you to lose all of your troops in the first hit. So that guy poured it away, so I stole his spot, um, just because it's a little bit closer to some other castles. And we're looking for more troops, and <laughs> there's a lot of them. Um, there's 420k in that report, 300,000 here. And then let's see what this guy has. Another 300,000 and some wood. So my resources are just going to keep climbing. But I can never really find a lot of food. Um, and food is like the most important resource. Um, everybody's always out of food. So like it used to be that silver was the most valuable. I feel that that food is the most valuable resource right now just because nobody has any. Um, it's scarce. So it's, you know, do what you can to, to get your food. Um, and if you haven't gotten to the point where you're experiencing food shortages, you will. Um, it's definitely going to come. So if, if you're starting off the game and you have the time to have to build a farm, I recommend building a farm that can hold food and produce food so that you can help with the shortages once you get up into the, the higher castle levels. So you see from all these reports, there's troops all over the place in this hive, and nobody's active. Um, I haven't seen anybody moving, haven't seen anything going on. So maybe they're sleeping um, because the, the alliance name is Pole. I'm guessing that they might be a Polish alliance, and this was right after reset, so they might be sleeping. And this guy had a lot of troops. He had 5 million troops. And I was kind of worried here because um, that's a big amount of troops for me to be attacking into. Um, I'm not used to attacking that that big. Um, but it, wasn't, it didn't turn out too bad. Um, I think this guy ended up having on the wrong gear. Um, either that or he just hasn't focused on his stats at all. But I think he was in his um, farm gear and either he forgot that kingdom raid was coming or you know maybe he thought he shielded but we're just going to keep attacking him to take all five million troops and then i'll scout some of the people around him to find some more targets i'm always jumpy when i'm in these hives um, i'm always waiting for the speed hit to come from somewhere so i try and scout around and look for a spot where I can I could teleport out quickly and I try and cut most of that out so you guys don't get motion sick for me scrolling all over the place looking for stuff but yeah see on these reports like I'm only getting percentages like I had a hit for 1.8 mil but then the following hit is only 900,000 which if it's not percentage based after I take that initial hit and I get rid of his, his infantry or his meat shield, like my next attack should be bigger because he's got nothing to protect his distance and his calf from mine, but that's just kind of how it looks like it is now. So there he had 2.2 total and I got like 900,000 of them. So maybe it's 30% on the first hit and then 50% on, on consecutive hits and then you know, drops the limit after three or four hits. I'm, I'm not sure. So yeah, just looking for more targets in here and scouting around. And I did fix my marches, so I paired people up who were supposed to be paired. So um, Milady Winter and Jacob and Anne with Gaston and my distance guards, I like having one of the critical hit guards with the others. So Santa's in one march and... Um, Malpin's in the other so I like the guards with critical hit to be split up so that there's the, the chance on each distance march to to do that damage 
And I really wish this guy would have had resources. Like, he seems like a pretty big castle to have 5 million troops. So I was hoping, like, well, maybe he'd have resources too, but didn't end up being that way. And then I did kill some of these camps. Um, he had a decent amount of troops on the camps. They weren't they weren't one troop encampments, so I figured since I'm close, I might as well. Now we're after collecting a little bit more resources here. I wanted to make sure I get all of this silver. Um, and you see when I'm after just resources, I don't send my preset marches. I just send you know, attack and march, which with whichever defaults it's set, because it, it's not going to maximize anything when they're out of troops and you're just collecting resources. So here we found even more troops. They're on the far side of where I am, so they're a little bit farther away, um, but not worth a port because no one's here. I don't have to worry about anybody fighting back or attacking, so... I was just doing the long march, trying to edit out the minute in between the sending of the march and the contact. Oh, and my cute little pandas. Did you see the pandas? <laughs> I, um, I did top up throughout the week to unlock them, and I like them. I think they're cute, and I think they did a really good job on the attack animation. Um, it's a little bit more delayed in other kingdoms, but inside my own kingdom, when there's no, you know, kingdom raid going on, as soon as the first shot fires from the pandas, the castle starts on fire. So it's timed really well. Um, so here you can see it was a little bit delayed, but if you test that in your own kingdom, it's almost perfect. So it looks really cool. Now here's some more battle reports to kind of see where we're at. And just smaller kills, you know, a couple hundred thousand here, a couple hundred thousand there. Um, but I'll take all the points I can get. Normally I'm after just resources, but since I'm already here, I might as well clean them out and get my points up. I also have a good chance of taking number one this time. So this one was a little bit, um, this one was scary. So I'm attacking this guy's farm that had a lot of troops on it. But that guy right there, um, Vovic, he's like 1.6 billion. So if he was there, this could have ended really badly. And I put myself right next to him. I probably should have ported to the left of the farm so I had a little bit of notice if he did wake up and decide to, um, to hit me. But it worked out. I didn't have to worry too much about it. And same thing here, like... I only get a little percentage of the troops each time I attack, um, and it just goes lower and lower and lower until finally I can clear them out. But it seems like a lot of these castles with bigger troops take either four or five hits now, rather than being able to clear them out in one or two. All right, finally cleared them out. So where are we off to next? Um, here was a fun one. I just wanted to showcase the pandas in this. Um, when you send them all so close together, it's just a giant army of marching pandas. So I, I thought it looked really cool. And then here I'm trying to showcase the animations. So we get right in there to show the, ca the, the pandas attacking this castle and starting it on fire. And this guy had 580,000. All of his castle names were like Buy and Strike and, you know, I think that it's just a dead cluster. Um, I could be wrong, but, you know, I kept this one bookmarked because it's, it's easy point to face this kingdom again if all the troops that you're killing go into the kingdom hospital, then they all come back for the next time around. And here we're going to show the pandas attacking again. And then we'll be off to the next set of targets. Now 
Now the the other March skin that was way too expensive, but I wish I would have been able to get was that um, the um, Undead March that came with the last update. That March looks really cool. Um, and for some reason, I like I like March skins, I like Castle skins, but I don't like Airship skins, and I don't know why that is. Um, but it's just is what it is, I guess. Maybe it's because my airship only goes with one march, and I don't see it that often. Maybe if I had an airship with every march, I might like the, the skin more. Um, but right now, airship skins are just kind of meh for me. So here's some more troops. Um, but these ones, because they're under a certain threshold, or maybe they're under a certain castle level, um, I was able to get all the troops in one hit. So... Maybe it's castle level linked, maybe, you know, not. Here, <laughs> I was having a really hard time finding a spot to teleport. I cut out like a minute of searching where I was just looking for spots close to try and get in there. I could not find a spot. These guys did a good job with their um, their UAC blockers, which is one of the things that bothers me. Um, if I was bigger, when I get bigger, and I can just sit out in the open, when I go to kingdoms like this, I'm going to burn all the camps, I'm going to burn all the UAC blocker castles, and I'm just going to clear them out. So be forewarned, it's, I don't like the strategy of using UAC blockers. Um, I'd rather use the terrain, use your own actual castles, but all these dead castles blocking everything is not something I like. So here we got 683,000 of the troops out of so out of 900,000. So we had 300,000 survive. So it let me kill 60% and he's a castle 33. Um, if you guys are watching and you have your own data, uh, maybe we should try and pull it and figure out if um Maybe certain, as you go up in castle level, your troops are more protected from initial hits. Um, and we'll just have to see if we collect a whole bunch of data, if that shows true or not. So this guy's castle 34, but it only let me get half of his troops. His stats are better, but, you know, getting only 50% in one hit means I have to go back you know, one or two more times. So we're back at him again. And this time I'm after the resources. I think my next hit should kill him enough um, with my airship. So I'm sending the other three marches just to get those resources. And here it is. Let's see if it let me kill them all. And it did. So let me finish him off. And now the next couple of hits are after those resources. Um, I don't think I showed that, though. I think I cut that out. Yeah, we're on to more troops. Another 700,000 over here. And then another 361. So this guy is castle 32 with 700,000 troops. So let's see kind of how that hit goes. And while I was doing this, um, waiting for the minute and a half, I was looking around and I found this guy. So I was watching him attack all these little castles and just waiting. And I'm hoping that he stays there because I want to I want to go jump on him after after my marches land. So that castle 32, it let me kill all 107,000 troops. So I, <laughs> all my theories are like. They start to make sense, and then I disprove them. And then they start to make sense again on other castles. And it's just, it doesn't it doesn't really make sense. It can't be stat-based, because that guy hit the, um, the pole guy with 5 million troops. His stats were like 25% of what mine are, and it still didn't let me kill that many troops in one hit. So I finally got this guy. Um, he did stay there, so I was able to speed hit him and... Get a pretty decent hit on him. And then I was looking around for if there's any more targets in this area. 
because I like to try and maximize my advanced teleports when I can. And I see this person here, and I usually don't tile hit. So I, I understand that there's tiles there and that these two people that I just scouted that have no troops were on tiles. But I usually don't go after tiles. Um, I'm either after you know getting the actual kills or getting resources. So going after tiles is not something I usually do unless I'm really short on points, so I just want to get some points and, and be done for the Kingdom Raid. So this is another one that they have a big chunk of troops, and it's not going to let me kill them all. Um, it let me get about half. I got 974,000 out of 1.8. And his stats are decent. Um, not so much higher than mine that I should have probably killed them all anyways, but it seems like it was a pretty clear 50%. And then attacking him, him or her the second time, we'll see what it lets me kill out of the remaining 900,000. So it let me finish him in the second hit. But maybe it's because his wall guards are so bad. I don't, I don't know what it was. But he obviously didn't you know, level those up. So I found a couple of more troops. And this is where my mistake happens. Um, I stayed in the same spot for way too long. Um, and it was a spot right out in the open, right next to the forest. So a lot of people check the forest it's not a good spot to sit if you're attacking long range. Um, I probably should have just teleported over closer to these castles to, you know, try and get the extra kills and, and move out of the way. And I started to, you know, briefly go over my points, but we'll go over the, that at the end. So here I'm marching, long marching, scouting, looking for some more troops. Some of these guys are unshielded, and I should be able to get another, you know, couple of points. But then look how fast this hit comes. See, see I didn't have much time to react. He's quick. He speed hits really fast. Um, that's how dark speed hits come in. Um, I, it was just too fast. And then as soon as you tell, as soon as you get ported home, random teleport away because the coordinates in his kill report link the spot you land back in your own kingdom. So you have to get out of there, or they're going to follow you home and hit you again. So I got hit by Luca, and I lost 900,000 troops. And now here's my points for uh, Kingdom Raid. I'm at 1.9 billion points, and this was the first hour and a half. Um, well, the first hour and a half that I went out, I waited about an hour from the start, and then I went out this for about an hour. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know how you're doing in your own Kingdom Raids, and see you in the next video.